three, go. Three inches? Yep. One, two, three. One. There you uh, go. So we took our bucket of water, we had our hose, and we attached this into a ruler mm -hmm. to be able to measure this spout of water once we open this valve here. And our goal was to be able to measure the change in height of the total volume here, and then use Bernoulli's and momentum to compare it to the measured height to the calculated height. Okay. And we measured the change in height at one inch below where we started. We started with 10 inches of water. Can you walk me through the calculations? So, we start with Bernoulli's between points three and four. Three is here at the end of the pipe and four is the top of the water spout. Uh, using Bernoulli's and canceling where pressure is zero and where velocity is zero, we get the velocity coming out of this tube to equal 48 inches per second. Okay, what'd you do with that? Uh, then we use that to find Q, velocity times area, 10.61 cubic inches per second. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that the Q coming into this pipe or tube is the same coming out. So Q2 equals Q3, and also equals Q1. Mm -hmm. So using that, we use a momentum equation once you do your canceling and your algebra and then some integration, we found that the calculated change in height was 1.09 inches below where we started. All right. Which was less than a tenth of an inch. It's about a 9% error, uh, which we feel is pretty accurate. All right. Considering our pretty crude experiment. All right. So that was the first part of it. That was the first part. Uh, this was with a roughly half inch diameter. All right, for the second part of the experiment, we took a nozzle that we put on the end of the tube that brought the diameter from roughly a half inch to about a quarter of an inch. And we want to, we measured the change. Uh, we got a higher water spout because of a faster velocity. So we used the same Bernoulli's equation and we got our new velocity coming out of the tube to be 85.68 inches per second. With that, we used uh, we got our Q uh, with the new area and the new velocity to be about 3.56 cubic inches per second. We use that with our um, momentum equation, and we found our new delta H with this nozzle to be about 0 0.27 inches. What we measured it to be during the experiment was 0 0.25 inches, so um, pretty close. It's an 8% error, which we're comfortable with in this experiment. All right. My name is Jeff Larsonneau. My name is Glenn Ward.